NBC 15's Christy Diamond explains how the incident raises awareness that domestic violence can happen to anyone. Sheriff Mahoney says this is a couple who had no prior contact with his agency until Saturday night. He hopes talking about the bigger issue of domestic violence will prevent future cases like this. In a rural Dane County community, 54-year-old Irina Shevchuk is accused of stabbing her husband to death following an afternoon of drinking and fighting. We know that there have been, there have been some arguments uh, over time over some financial challenges that they were involved in. Dane County Sheriff Dave Mahoney says the incident sends an important message. Domestic violence can occur anywhere. It can occur in our urban communities. It can occur in our rural communities. And it can happen to women or men. According to the CDC, one in four women and one in seven men are victims of domestic violence. It's something that we all need to be aware of and that we all have a role in preventing. Tony Gibbert with End Domestic Abuse Wisconsin tells me in general women use violence for different reasons than men. In general terms, when women use violence, it tends to be situational. Um, it, there tends to be less of the motivation to control the partner, um, to intimidate the partner, and it often is in response to violence that was perpetrated against them. He says men can often be reluctant to seek help. It's a feeling that they shouldn't be victims or can't be victims. Sheriff Mahoney says investigators have no information about any ongoing abuse with this couple, but would not indicate whether Irina said she acted in self-defense. She did speak with our staff about what had occurred and, and uh, at no time denied the fact that the stabbing had occurred as a result of their argument. Now again, Sheriff Mahoney wants to reiterate that services are available for anyone, man or woman, who's experiencing domestic abuse. In fact, all domestic violence agencies in the state offer services to both men and women. For information about resources available, head to our website and click on news links.